Mike Huckabee decided to throw some haymakers at the Muslim community. Let's listen. I know we're not supposed to say anything unkind about Islam. I mean, it's politically incorrect. I get that. But could someone explain to me why it is that we tiptoe around a religion that promotes the most murderous mayhem on the planet in their so-called holiest days? So the Muslims will go to the mosque and they will have their day of prayer and they come out of there uh, like uncorked animals. I mean, do you ever say, oh boy, we, it's Christmas. Oh my gosh, these Christians are going to come out of that Christmas Eve service and they are going to Walmart and they are going to so rip that place apart because you know what happens when they go in there and pray about Jesus and they get out of there and then they go straight to the mall and they just, I mean, they set fire to the place. And yet we tell Christian chaplains in the military, take that Bible off your desk, because that might offend somebody. Well, I'm on record now. I am offended. I am officially offended that we are so picky and we're so afraid to tell it like it is. Oh, you're offended. Only Mike Huckabee, only a hardcore right-wing religious, evangelical, fundamentalist, Republican, say, an incredibly offensive rant, and say, ah, I am offended. I am offended. He just called Muslims uncorked animals. Okay, you're not the one who should be talking about what's offensive and what's not offensive. And look, I have no problem with talking about extremists and talking about fundamentalists Yes, fundamentalist Muslims, I go after them all the time. And not only using that language, but using harsher language. But you're painting with way too broad a brush. You need to be much more specific in your attacks. I mean, there's only one billion, over one billion Muslims in the world. And you're going to say Muslims come out of the mosque like uncorked animals? What does that even mean? Not Al-Qaeda, not, hey, Al-Qaeda comes out of the mosque and they're like animals or the Taliban or Boko Haram or even a, a group like Hezbollah, for example. No, no, Muslims. And like he says, Christians, oh, Christians are never violent. Are you kidding me? It's not like that guy, Anders Breivik, who killed all those kids in Norway who was an extremist Christian. Wait, what? What? Or how about uh, the IRA? or the Ku Klux Klan, or the various militia movements in the United States, which are Christian, or the abortion clinic bombers, which are all Christian. Or if you want to go back in time, we can talk about the Crusades, or the Inquisition, or the burning of witches. I got old examples, I got new examples, how many do you want? But yeah, no, there are uh, not a single violent Christian, no. And then he goes to one of the biggest myths in American history. The myth of the persecuted Christian. Somehow, the religion that makes up 76% of the population, uh, the religion that has been the religion of every single president in United States history and over 95% of the politicians. Well, no, that is the religion that is persecuted against. Not, the Hindus really have a hold on American culture. The Bhagavad Gita is everywhere. You can't get away from it. Or the less than 1% of the U.S. population that's Muslim, they run everything. They run everything. Dude, listen to yourself. Oh, well, you think the atheists run things? The agnostics and the atheists? There are laws still on the books in some states that ban atheists and agnostics from running for office. But yeah, we, we have all the power, sure. Uh, he's so oppressed. And what Mike Huckabee doesn't get is that he's actually jealous of the Taliban. He wants to be able to shove his religion down people's throats. So when he sees other people shoving their religion down people's throats, he gets jealous. And they agree on a lot more things than they like to put on. So for example, extremist Christians, extremist fundamentalists, extremist uh, Muslims, I'm sorry, they both hate gays. They both want to ban divorce. They want to ban pornography. They want to teach religion in the schools, et cetera, et cetera. But no, no, uh, Mike Huckabee would never be like these uh, dirty, violent, evil Muslims that want to force through law their religion on you. Mike Huckabee would never want to do that. 
I have opponents in this race who do not want to change the Constitution. But I believe it's a lot easier to change the Constitution than it would be to change the word of the living God. And that's what we need to do is to amend the Constitution so it's in God's standards rather than try to change God's standards so it lines up with some contemporary view of how we treat each other and how we treat the family.